Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nick from Part-Time Pilot. Today we're gonna talk about how to read an altimeter. Uh, should be a pretty quick video. We also have a video on how altimeters work. I'll briefly explain it and how this uh, altimeter setting window works, uh, but if you wanna check out that video, just click up uh, in the top right corner. All right, so let's get to it. So uh, <clears throat> this is the altimeter setting. So this is basically what we're calibrating our altimeter to. So ATC is gonna read a barometric pressure at sea level and they're gonna tell you to input that here. The reason why we put the barometric sea level pressure in here, because your altimeter is basically sensing changes from that, right? Because it associates uh, changes from sea level pressure with changes in altitude, okay? So we wanna make sure that that is correct. The, the standard is 29.92 inches of mercury. That's what we have in here for this example. Uh, but again, check out that other video if you want to learn more about how the altimeter insides work. Uh, and I think it's really helpful. Okay, so we have three needles on the altimeter. We have the green here. They're not colored on your actual altimeter, but they do have different shapes and sizes. So the 10,000 foot needle, the real skinny one, uh, a thousand foot needle is going to be this kind of fat and short one. And then this thicker, uh, longer one is going to be the 100 foot needle. Let's start with the 10,000 foot needle. The 10,000 foot needle by itself is going to tell you the exact altitude in terms of 10,000 feet. But as pilots, as we're flying, it's kind of hard to tell just off one needle. Okay, this is 1.6 ish, uh, 10,000 feet. So I don't know, 16,000 16, feet uh, or something like that. So, uh, we want to be more accurate than that. So that's what these other needles are for. But first, so what you do is you basically say, okay, this needle is between one and two. So it's between 10,000 and 20,000. Okay, so let's, let's just say it's above 10,000 feet. So we know it's above 10,000 feet, okay? So if that were to be, let's say the needle were to be here, we know it's above 30,000 feet. So I'd write 30,000 or, you, you know, as a pilot, you'll want to do this in your head. So the next one we look at is we, we just go down the list. We go to the, the thousand foot one. This thousand foot one is just below five. Okay, so that just below 5,000, right? So it's above 4,000. So again, let's write, we know it's above 4,000. All right, now it, again, if that was, let's say over here, it's a, just above seven. So we would write 7,000 or we'd keep that in our head, right? Okay, now, finally, we go down to the 100 one. This one's pointing right at the nine, so that's 900. Okay, so we're gonna write 900. And now, basically, what we do is we just add these up. Okay, so 10,000 plus 4,000 plus 900, that's gonna give us 14,900 feet. And again, this green one told us that it was about you know, 15, 16,000 feet. So that's pretty close, 14,900. Now, obviously as a pilot, you're gonna wanna be able to do this much quicker. You're not gonna wanna write this down like this. So you're gonna have to do this kind of in your head. Um, the way I like to do it is I like to, you know, I look at this needle and I say, okay, it's above 10,000. Uh, it's a, a little bit below 15,000, all right? So I'm adding this in my head. I see 10,000, I see 5,000, a little bit less. Okay, so 10,000 plus 5,000 is a little bit less than 15,000. And I look, okay, how much less? 900, so 14,900, just a little bit less than 15,000. Okay, so you just kind of have to add these up. Uh, let's do one more example. Okay, so here's another example. Let's just try and do it in our head. So again, just guesstimate off the screen on, okay, that's about 2,000 right there. Our 1,000 foot one that's saying, okay, it's a little bit above 2,000. How much above 2,000? The 100 mark says it's at the 300 line. So I'm gonna say it's 2,300 feet. And then we do it the, you know, the precise way where we add this up, okay. So it's above zero. So we have zero for our 10,000 feet. Um, and then it's above 2,000. So we have 2,000 here. And then here it's right at 300. So we'll write 300 here. 
and now all we have to do is add them up. Zero plus 2,000 plus 300 is 2,300. So that, again, is how you read an altimeter. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe.